Hi everyone, it's Asa. Another important story that I'd like to discuss is Philip K. Dick's Paycheck, which was written in 1952. It centers around an electrician in a dystopian society who has, after waking up from a coma, discovered that he is now in a police state and a huge chunk of his memories have been erased. And he doesn't know why, of course. He just knows that his employee erased them and is using him, obviously, as a pawn in this inexplicable experiment that just sends him on this Kafka-esque, like, wild goose chase of trying to figure out why exactly it's happened to him and, you know, trying to find himself again. And, um, and really, I think the most important part of this story which I think I cover in my own writing and dealing with the aristocracy, is uh, the erasure of identity, which you see many different forms of, whether, you know, uh, in sort of real life kinds of scientific and social uh, experimentation. And you can even see examples of this in the United States military. Um, for example, the, humil the degradation and borderline uh, strenuous torture that is about breaking the individual down but then building him up again in a way that has not only less information and, and a warped perspective on the world but also um, less uh, less ability to question authority and his the environment around him and um, and a lot of that psychopathy in that case is about Try, it is really the distortion of values, really, about trying to, in that case, as I mentioned in, with the previous story that I discussed about the issue of the ends justify the means, as long as it benefits the greatest number of people, and the erasure of, the erasure of the individual is a big part of trying to promote that kind of philosophy. And so, therefore, this character, even though he tries to fight back, I mean, he, in his heart, he knows what's right. He tries to fight back against this dystopian society that he's in. He doesn't actually have a lot of the mental faculties in order to be able to do that. And uh, in the end, he even gets convinced that, um, that the, per the, the person uh, who is basically his captor is actually on his side because his captor lies to him. And it's very obvious that it's a lie. Even if Philip K. Dick doesn't mention it or doesn't say it, it's very obvious that he's, that he's lying to him and telling him that, no, you know, you're, you're actually here to aid me in trying to fight against this dystopia that's now appeared in the United States. Which raises another issue of, um, which you tend to see a lot in my own writing of the, about the aristocracy is this sort of fake counterculture that is created ultimately to serve the same purpose as, um, as the establishment because it all becomes very much a part of the same thing. Um, which you can see that in many different forms nowadays in America and, um, you know, and particularly as I was saying about the military, um, it tends to, I guess, operate on both an, not only an intellectual, but an, uh, an emotional level. Like you could say the nature of psychopathy is about the erasure of the, uh, uh, having a sense of emotional connection because you're trying, you have to turn yourself into a robot in order to survive in the society around you. Um, and that's, you see exactly examples of that in the aristocracy in Montica, the new counterculture, because they will use drugs to try to get their own subjects to eventually believe that their side, their ability to, you know, to value justice is flawed. And as you can see, in the case of Dimitri, the protagonist Dimitri in Montica, he's convinced, or well, they tried to convince him that he's part of a theocracy in order to frame him even though he isn't. And, um, and I guess that's really the, thematically I would say that that's the only difference, really. Um, but otherwise there are several similarities. And really mainly is that, you know, in the crux, the main thing is really about how the protagonist needs to um, work in an environment that's very much like a lot of the things that Kafka 
discussed. Um, the issue of bureaucracy, the issue of trying to uh, work in a system where it's where there's basically obscurantism. All the information is withheld from you, and yet you're told to try to survive, even though you, a big part of the picture has been removed. So I think that's really something that has been pressing, has been on my mind for a while. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy this. See you next time.